What's going on my Litecoin family? To all the haters out there, I want to start with a bang and say that we did literally call this pinpoint drop. So that is absolutely brilliant. We have got a nice V-shaped recovery. I do think that this is simply based that, I, that we did call this drop right here, as you can see. I just deleted that now for the, um, you know, to make it the chart look nice. Oh, I have to delete it all again now. Okay. But yeah, so um, literally, it was a very nice drop. As you can see, nice V-shaped recovery we've had here. So you can see that below $100, everybody's starting to realize, okay, that is a really big bargain for Litecoin. Let me just accumulate slightly and just hold. I actually didn't, wasn't able to accumulate there because obviously I was sleeping. But um, right now, it's still a nice bargain at 103 but I still do want to wait till we get to below um, 95 So yeah, but literally right now, I do actually think that we could see a potential push upwards okay um i do want this circle to get filled at 110 and i want to see if we get a nice bigger rejection off this point or we start to see height move to try and retest this upper resistance level right here because off there then we can actually start to see and understand okay maybe we have even another shorter time frame um double top as you can see right here we can have another short time for double top which gives us more confidence to the downside because we don't want to be guessing all the time we want to be understanding okay if, um if we do actually have this fulfilled we can start to see another movement downwards so it's always important to take lessons off of the charts understand where the charts are moving see how you can profit off them and when the best places are to enter to actually start going long for the long term that is okay so like trading like it's not always about um shorting here taking profit here I think the biggest point in crypto is to actually start holding from the bottom and literally holding it until you get those two, three, four, five, six X's. That's what I've been doing. And that's how I've made a lot of money. Um, with trading, I have made a, a really nice amount of money, but it's no, it doesn't compare anywhere near to how much I've made um, buying short in crypto and holding for a bit because the gains are just ast astronomical. Um, for example, well, if, if, you, if you long the market here, guys, I say if you long the market there, and your plan is to hold till 150. As soon as you get to, literally, like, tell me if I'm wrong, okay? As soon as you get to a point where you're, like, you're up here, and we start to come down to, like, retest um, the previous support over here, you will literally take your profits, like, most people do because of emotion. But if you actually short, if you actually just buy a bag of, like, on here for, like, let's say $10,000 right here, um, when we go up here, you, you won't take profit, you'll just hold. And we go up, you'll still hold. And when you get to a nice point where you know that, okay, I've made double now, then you'll start to sell and that's the best thing about it like you're not in pressure you're not under pressure or under any sort of force to sell whereas if you actually do start to um day trade you kind of actually are always stuck looking at the charts 24 7 which i do understand because that's i do actually tend to do that quite often but i trade forex and everything so yeah but let's get straight into this don't want to get off on the wrong foot you can see here so yesterday we had a ginormous rejection wick to the downside okay so what this does show us is that bulls as soon as we're getting down here bulls are buying back up okay so this is really bullish candle i want to say that right now this is a really really bullish candle okay a brilliant bullish candle amazing bullish candle for everyone out there okay so if we do actually come down again and have formed the same candle that is called tweezer bottoms okay it's called like this and like this it's called a tweezer bottom and that shows that price will go upwards. If that does form, I'll be going long on my Litecoin and Bitcoin, potentially Bitcoin. But yeah, definitely for Litecoin. But as of right now, I do think that this could just be, we come down, people bought it back up, retest this support, and we'll start to come down again. That is a potential as well. You have to understand that there's a lot of things going on in the market right now. Um, there is still this double top playing out that we were looking at in the large time frame. And for, for Litecoin, for me, you just have to wait. Um, we can't start rushing into different movements, different trades, start changing our sentiment almost just on one candle. I want to see what happens. If this actually is true, then we will start to see movement back up towards $110 around this level. And if we get rejected from here, then okay, we will start coming down again. Um, you have to understand like that. You can't just make a trade off of with this one candle, start going up. I want to wait and see if we do start pushing up, if we do get above these EMAs, or if we don't. Okay, that's what, that's what I'm waiting for. For the short time frame where I'm actually looking to actually enter my trades is the hourly and the 15 minute time frame as you are all aware. And so what we'll be looking for is potentially something like this. So you go up, you draw this up. And typically if we do see rejection on these these EMAs flip, that will be a nice indication to short to go to the bottom. But you have to bear in mind that we, we definitely won't reach the bottom. Typically we do go somewhere down to here and then we start to reverse back up and then you can potentially get a nice long back down. Okay, so... 
a lot of things do happen in the crypto market that try and manipulate you and get you to lose money. That's kind of like just how crypto works. Like for example, you can see here, um, this kind of just looks like a massive fake out. Um, we're trending in this nice cha um, channel, this, this descending channel. We're looking like, okay, we, we might be breaking downwards right here, um, upwards, sorry. And literally just started falling and now we're broken out. That's why I'm starting to say that like, maybe we can actually start to see us come back up to 110 before any other start of kind of movement starts to occur. So it's just it's just important to start picking out different trends like this because a lot of people we do will will, um, will be also looking at these points. So you have to understand that if we do get a bounce off this support right here, the next support we want to get above is 106, and if we form support on there, 110, and then we want to see if we get rejected from here, like we have all these points in the past, or if we start to see support, support, and start to like ladder our way upwards. Okay, so it's very important to see this sort of movement, movement, guys. I do I do recommend you guys looking at the charts, start understanding it. And if you are looking to learn and get signals and trend analysis, then join the Patreon down below. It is on sale. I'd love to see you guys in there and talk to the community and talk to everyone. So a massive thanks to you guys for watching this video. Um, I do want to show you one more thing, which is obviously the 15-minute time frame. Because a lot of people always message me saying, how do you know when to actually enter your trades? Okay, and I'll show you right now. So one thing I, I'd, like, I'd like to look for, okay? So say we were entering on a long right around this position right here, okay? So let me zoom in on that point. So... What I'd be looking for right now is a retest. So say we pumped above. So we pumped above here, got above our previous low, okay? And previous high, sorry, my apologies. So we retest on the EMAs, EMAs crossed, engulfing candle here, this big green candle. See the big green candle here? Well, let me just line it. That big green candle there, that's where you would enter your trade. So you'd enter your trade right here, okay? When that candle closes, you so see you enter it literally about right here, okay? And your stop loss would be either below here, or below here, preferably below here, okay, because that is one low before the candle, so right here, and your take profit would be just below this previous high over here. Do you understand that, guys? So your take profit would be literally below the previous high over here, okay? And as you can see, if you held that trade and put your take profit at $104, it would have got hit, okay? It would have got hit, literally, see? So these things do work, these EMAs do work and things, but as of right now, another example what I'm looking for, if this EMA does cross on the 15 minute time frame, we do come down, we retest on it, and we get an engulfing candle off it, then I'll enter my trade here. And my stop loss, where would it be, guys? Yes, it would be just below here. Or just above here, sorry. And my take profit would be literally above here. So it'd be about here. My take profit would be there. And that would be a nice one to two point five risk to reward trade okay so that's what you want to look for that's how you want to trade the markets for a nice quick gain but if you are just looking to, to, to dca guys then any literally any point right now is a brilliant time to start entering into, into litecoin this is very very cheap litecoin you have to understand that and respect that like literally guys look at this litecoin was at 400 dollars at one point and now you're getting it so 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 cheap if you buy now and you go to the same point that is a 4x and that's brilliant. Like you have to understand that you don't get that in the traditional markets after waiting years and years and years and years and years. Okay, so that is an amazing gain if that does happen. I do think like will be over a thousand dollars. But my only thing right now is that I do believe that we do need to touch these um, historical points of support right here before we start to see major, major, major um, bullish momentum. A big thanks to you guys watching. I hope this does help and support your Litecoin theories. If you did enjoy the video, please comment and let me know what your thoughts are on Litecoin and other cryptocurrencies. And literally, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Please give me a like if you did enjoy the video and you do watch this every single day. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you all so, so much. Peace.